Hello once again and uh, today we'll be looking at um, the watch list and how we can customize our own watch list. I'm pretty sure some of you are very interested in that. We have a few preset watch lists you can see over here. Now watch list uh, is separated into CFD pricing and of course your DMA pricing. Now where do we obtain our different prices is right under here we have trading under price. We have our CFD prices where all the favorited watch lists are followed by the DMA prices right here now for just for this demonstration I'm using the CFD price view for all markets as you can see over here we have it favorited right at the top also we have the Hong Kong markets and many others listed right at the top here now if you were to take a look at our DMA price list Let's take a look at our DMA price list right here. Let's just open this up. And we will see a slightly more in detail. We have our SGX top 30 volume price list, favorite right at the top, followed by the top 30 gainers right here. Now for Hong Kong and Malaysia, since there's no DMA, you won't be able to see the price list also for index but for Singapore you will be able to see all the Singapore price list right here none for the US markets as well now how do you set up a watch list let us go through that first you can either go through the options one way of it of doing that is going through the options right here you can go through via the file menu or through this little button here let's just click over here now once this is open, you'll be able to see a few buttons. The first thing that we want to do when we want to create a watch list is to go to our user watch list. Now, of course, we have our uh, previously set up watch list. So let us set up a new watch list now. What you have to do is basically just click on new and name it your watch list. Say, okay, name it my watch list. Once you have renamed it, make sure you click on the rename button and you would have an empty watch list right here. How do you pick and choose a watch list? How do you pick and choose your stock or index to be in your watch list is basically through this column. Now you can do a quick search. Some of you would like to do a quick search knowing that you love certain counters you can basically just pick it up and swap it over to this side alternatively if you know the counters that you you uh you have in mind it can be done via yeah various alphabets so if, for example if i would love to have something in g I could just type that and we have a counter right there. Now once this is done, you just click on apply and you have your watch list right there. Now once you have your watch list set up, you notice that you won't be able to see it right here. So what you got to do is just right click, change your watch list to the watch list that you have saved early on. And there you have it. Notice that this is DMA price view, so you only have one counter. But let us change this to the CFD price view. Let's look at my watch list in the CFD price view. And we will see the three counters that we have added previously. Now you can also add counters directly into this current watch list simply by using the contract list right here. Now if you would like to add say another another counter all you have to do is you can do a search say I would like to add another counter just do a search and you drag and drop it right in here now once you have done that make sure you save your watch list and it should be saved over there the next time you open it also another method of having a watch list saved is to have it under your favorite column 
So how do you do that? Simply just click on favorite. You can click on add favorite. This is the current watch list that I have. Just add it on to your favorite list and click on apply. And it will be just right there. There you go. Okay, simple and easy. Now, as for the other menu buttons that we see in our watch list editor, these are basically features which you could customize. For example, if I were to do a market watch list right here, we have th three basic themes. You can uh, choose between them. Or if you would like to make your own team, what you have to do is basically click on new, name your team. Uh, currently, it's called new team 2. Let's just stick to that. Click on rename and... What you see here is basically the white color scheme. Now, how do you how do you change them? All you have to do is just click on the field that you would like to change and change its color right here. You have to click change this particular color from red to say maybe pink. All you have all I have to do is click OK and there you go. You have a pink color for the last done price. Right, so it is as simple and easy to do. And now within your watch list, you could create your own defined sector. Now, how do you do that? Is if you go to your watch list editor, just click on sector right here and create a new sector. Now, this must be within your watch list itself. So, what you can do is rename that sector. For example, if you would like to have say electronic sector you can rename it electronics and place your electronics within that sector all right there you go so what does this basically do um this basically puts your watch list or your counters in different sectors within your watch list where can you see this? It's basically under your contract list. If you were to look at watch list right here, you'll be able to see your watch list. So for example, I'm looking at your watch list and you will be able to see all the different sectors that is in your watch list. For example, over here, we have a counter that is under electronics. All right. So that's one way to classify all the different counters in the event that you have many different types of counters in your designated watch list all right this marks the end of the watch list tutorial i will see you next time in our next set of videos